hello guys so in this video we will uh, see uh, our modules functionality that is authorized dot net payment in integration with udo point of sale so as its name suggests uh, it will be gonna use to make uh, the card payment directly from udo point of sale screen uh, through uh, authorized dot net uh, payment acquirer uh, all right and uh, as you can see that uh, 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 this model is supported with Udo community, Udo enterprise and also Udo.sh alright so basically this module will provide you the functionality to do partial as well as the full payment with authorized.net payment acquirer directly from the point of sale screen so when I will go to uh, the key features of this module so you will be also able to see that uh, it provides the user access to use this kind of functionality uh, it will have uh, very much uh, user friendly interface so that uh, point of sale manager point of sale user will be easily able to use this module as well uh, udo payment directly from the point of sale screen all right uh, so the, the respected user can do the partial payment or as well as the full payment directly from the point of point of sale screen and at that time uh, it th that particular transactions will be get uh, uh, redirected to the authorized .NET payment acquirer side. All right, and uh, this module also provides the functionality to uh, for the uh, card token that will be saved in uh, customer profile uh, to ask uh, after asking. Okay, uh, the token will be saved for future use after cus after customer ask uh, after ask to the. Um, customer by the point of sale uh, user or the manager uh, you can see partially or full payment through the card uh, the invoice pay functionality will be there the transaction information so on the point of sale received along with uh, the card number and the amount details the total amount details all right and you will be also able to directly cancel or void the transaction directly from the uh, point of sale order uh, through backend side Udo backend side all right now let's go with the mod, uh, the modules functionality so you will be able to see that i'm directly here at point of sale screen so i have already configured uh, the authorized dotnet payment acquirer uh, and uh, all the details so that uh, was the configuration part Let me show you that so here when i will go in the configuration part okay so let me go to the invoicing and uh, let me go to the payment acquirers okay so here you will be able to see that uh, i have configured the authorized .NET uh, payment acquirer in test mode so let me show you that you will be able to see that I have already configured it in test mode so I have already provided the API login ID the related API transaction key API signature key API client key uh, for the testing instance okay basically the sandbox account of authorized.net testing mode okay now I will go to the uh, point of sale side over here okay and will show you uh, that l l let me take any of um, let's say these products let me take the customer okay set the customer go to go for the payment side okay so i have already configured a payment method over here uh, named as uh, let's say credit card or as if you want uh, to give any kind of name for easy identification for the respected point of sale user then uh, you can also give that okay so i will click on this payment method you will be able to see that uh, my due is 87.03 okay so i have to just click on this card as a point of sale user or manager and the system will ask me for um, the card details as you can see and on the second tab you will be able to see the token option is also here so uh, you can see save this data so uh, after asking to the customer by the respected point of sale user or manager 
if he or she is allowing to save it as a token then you you will be also able to save this uh, card details with the token but uh, here uh, it will not uh, it it will uh, make this card details as a confidential so not uh, uh, show you all the digits but only show you uh, some of the uh, last digit here as as a display purpose okay all right so now uh, do uh, one transaction so i am just entering the dummy card details okay so please note that this card details uh, is uh, just for the testing purpose and these are dummy card details okay so i will just write down the expiry date like this one write down the cvv number like this and i am clicking on save this data option okay now click on payment so like this i have uh, done uh the full payment you can see the full payment is here okay i will select the invoice i will click on the validate option that's it so you will be able to see that uh, my payment will be get uh, redirected and and uh, uh, not redirected but my payment will be get registered at authorized.net uh, payment acquirer side also and at uru side uh, the invoice will be also get generated as i have enabled this invoice button over here all right so you will be able to see that this is successfully generated with the invoice pdf also and when i will uh, 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 go down with this point of sale receipt i will be also able to see that authorized payment details this is the customer this is credit card information okay the amount will be there that will be the total amount so it will be also this uh, card details will be also displayed on the respected point of sale receipt of the customer okay now let's check it out on authorized.net payment acquirer side that whether the tra this transaction is getting affected or not all right before that uh, let me show you the invoice so you can see the invoice pdf is also generated here successfully all right now let me go through the respected authorized.net payment acquirer account so uh, at authorized.net uh, screen you can see this and i will just go to the respected transaction search uh, i will just uh, filter out these records as unsettled okay i will click on search okay now you will be able to see that this is 87.03 and the previous transaction was also 87.03 so this transaction is reflected now at authorized.net uh, payment acquirer side with unique transaction id so let me just open this transaction you will be able to see all the related details uh, in deep you can see the payment information also uh, the other information the customer uh, billing information will be also there so like this this transaction is uh, affected successfully over here at authorized.net uh, payment acquirer side so usually uh, when this transaction will uh, uh, you know done uh, uh, and linked with the authorized.net payment acquirer so uh, it will be get affected uh, it, it will take time uh, usually let's say let's say 24 hours to getting it affected uh, uh, while doing the payment okay so please uh, keep this point in your mind all right now uh, let's go to the back end side directly at the point of sale orders okay all right you can see this is the transaction so uh, if uh, uh, the related uh, user wants to void the transaction or cancel the transaction uh, okay so uh, he or she can also click on this button so by clicking on this void order button this respected transaction will be uh, cancelled here also uh, at point of sale uh, uh, screens uh, at, at point of sale backend screen side and also at the re respected authorized authorized.net payment acquirer side okay so uh, if you want then you can also do the parcel transaction uh, to he to uh, from the point of sale to authorized.net payment acquirer side so let's take an example of that also let's take an example here let's select the same customer as your interior okay let me go to the payment site let me click on the credit card 
uh, and you will be able to see the uh, token information so for that just let me refresh the page okay you will be able to see the token is also uh, saved here because uh, previously i had clicked on this option okay so just like this multiple tokens can be also saved okay now i am doing uh, a partial payment with card so let me give over here the amount as uh, let's say 50 okay and the rest of amount uh, will be let's say cash okay so you will be able to see this transaction and i will proceed for the payments okay just one minute configure the payment details all right i had left to give payment details uh, okay so i am just selecting this token all right click on validate uh, so you will be able to see Uh, this transaction is uh, successfully generated over here okay so there is uh, this is total bill but uh, how much payment is uh, uh, done through authorized dot net payment acquirer so it will be get represented over here and i will open an invoice i will be also able to see this is the invoice okay now uh, let me go through the authorized dot net payment acquirer side and let me show the transaction also so you will be able to see this is authorized dot net uh, payment acquirer and you will be able to see that this is the transaction with unique reference id of the transaction okay so just like this you will be also able to see this all the details respected details of the transaction over here okay okay so this is an overview of uh, our module that uh, how uh, authorized dot net payment acquirer is integrated uh, with the point of sale payment side and uh, uh, how you will be also able to do the partial as well as the full transaction directly with uh, the point of sale screen so that's all uh, about our module if you will have any kind of query or question or any suggestion then please don't hesitate to uh, write email to us or contact us uh, um, via our skype account okay uh, have a nice day bye take care we are odu enterprise sales partner we provide different kinds of services like odu erp consultation implementation customization integration migration functional and technical training complete digitalization and support for your business or industry to know more please visit our website synconics.com our email id is contact@synconics.com our skype id is synconics.technologies